Here we are at the Lions Clarifier Project. It is Sunday, September 14, 2014. And today is kind of a special day because this whole weekend is a whole series of events commemorating the one year uh, anniversary of the devastating flood we experienced a year ago on September 13th, in 2000, 2000, 2013. Today we're doing something a little special. We've set up a table out here and we're breaking stained glass and using marbles. And we're creating a flood commemoration piece on a piece of webbing. The mosaic is being worked on at the table and it eventually will be installed to the left of our view up on the rim in the night sky um, commemorating the lion's flood that we experienced and six concentric rings like the stone has been dropped into the water representing the six islands that were isolated during that event. And today we're asking especially flood place people to come and to place pieces in um, this particular piece that we're going to install to commemorate this. Uh, miraculously, the Clarifier project survived with almost no damage, even though the floodwaters raged on both sides of it. We are, at this point, just about complete with the lower uh, surface area. Um, we still have a lot of grouting to do there. Due to the erosion that you can kind of see, on this north side, we are unable to put the scaffolding there that we need to get up to that upper rim. So that might happen probably first thing next year. And start walking toward our group that's working on this piece. Ed Bruder has and Kirk Vincent have done a lot of work to get the materials and kind of come up with the design for this. Priscilla came up with the initial concept to do the concentric ring in the water. So can I start blue and blue? And blue? Um, let's help me put lay, lay more out. we got pieces to lay out. Let's lay it out first before we commit to a, a glue. We can glue quickly, pretty soon. I just think we should have a better idea of how it's going before we start committing. There's our trusty volunteer and glass buster, Misty Brackett. She's trying to get some pieces ready for us. Oh! <laughs> I think you should do that with each break. Mac Mac Woo! Woo! Lap full of shards. <laughs> There's Sandy Banta, and she's cutting it. Oh, heart. look at the heart pieces. That's beautiful. Oh, that's uh, that's expert. <laughs> expert <laughs> heart cutting. Learning with each break. Which color do you think? This should be further back. That should be further up, right? Mm -hmm. I'm trying to use darker glass for the just outer, the yeah, inner just part water, of the ring, water. and then kind of blend in lighter, yeah. brighter blue glass for to the outside. Maybe we don't use those, or, or add more. I think we can add more on the edges a little bit, just a little bit, but in groups. Pieces like this red glass is going to signify Red Cross people and all the support groups who came to help us. Here's our volunteer, Vicki Rivers to help today. This has all been done. This entire thing has been done with by volunteers. Community art built by community. Here we've got a lot of erosion that happened when the flood came through. It eventually is going to be filled, but um, the town is so busy doing so many other things, they haven't quite got to it. So 
been a little tricky working here and getting supplies here, but we we've managed so far. Here's our beautiful north tree representing winter. In the circle of seasons and cycle of life that this represents. Um, we also have some erosion underneath where our original ground level was, so we're going to have to come back and uh, fill in underneath that finish it off. A lot of grouting has been taking place. So it's been really taking a long time, but Kurt has done quite a bit of that with help from Sandy Banta and a number of people. The underside of the rim is going to have mirror tiles on it, and the upper rim is going to have dark sky getting a little bit lighter as you go toward our summer tree and getting a little bit, well, quite a bit darker actually as you get to our winter night sky. And there will be constellations in between our zodiac signs. We moved our scaffolding up last week to be around this side so we could work more on our night sky. And I don't know if you can see it, but this is where our flood commemoration piece is going to go. And the pink lines represent are going to be where the light beads are going to be representing the six different islands that were isolated during the flood event. grass is quite green for this time of year. We've just had so much moisture. It made us a little nervous, but uh, we're okay now. Here's our Lions Clarifier Director, Priscilla Cohan. She is working on the kind of summerish sky area in between spring and summer. Kind of working around the um, Gemini Zodiac. And actually, uh, she made the call to bring, this is our kind of our shortest tree, being on our shortest side, our summer tree here. She made the call to bring the tree and the aura circles around the tree up onto this portion of our night sky. So that's what she's working on right now. We even had some extra leaves left over from the leaves that the kids made. The elementary and high school kids did all of our leaves for our tree. Well, we're hoping in phase two that all of this is going to be landscaped. We're envisioning an amphitheater here, um, a path going around the whole thing. The um, Pole, telephone pole is going to be moved, and we're envisioning um, some lilac plantings along that fence. Here's our mosaic stash, our shed, holding our stuff, and here we have our vis some visitors. People love to come and look. And we're finding some of the birds oh, oh. that the really such family like made really and dedicated all of our local, well, some of our local birds are represented. Let's go look at oh, that's so pretty. <laughs> Something for everybody here. Okay, so this rim has been pretty well worked on. Priscilla has done a lot of work on this. Willie Eggerman worked on this part last week.
here are one of the birds that we were just talking about that the such is made. I think that's the goldfinch, if I'm not mistaken. Well, wow, it is cool. Here is one of the last places where the nighthawk is going to go. We're waiting for that one to come. The such is going to bring us back. So we're kind of building our night sky around it. We're heading toward our fall tree now as we turn the corner. There's our fall tree. It's all the beautiful fall leaves. Here's our wonderful volunteer, Chuck Esterly, doing some grouting. Hey, Chuck. This is your couple seconds of fame right here. I'm taking a video. <laughs> There's one spot we're waiting for, I think, the black cat chickadee to come. Look right there! Look at that. That's our sun. Did you see the moon on the other side? There's a moon on the other side. That sun is Thank you. It was made by a senior and high school group called the Gap Group, and they designed the whole thing, and we did it over one winter with clay. And everybody made a clay piece, and we had a big map. And um, so they have the seniors for the seniors. Absolutely, they they had a group. Yeah, yeah, it's beautiful. Great for the teenagers and the. It is.